welcome back to the channel guys so today we're doing a beer review um from a beer that i picked up in Lidl recently and it's from a company so it's from a brewery called lane and they've done this beer and um it just really stuck out to me on the um on the aisle when i saw it quite a few of them did so i picked up a few you see but this one i mean check a look at this so this is the fader ipa by lane Lane is a brewery in Brighton, like I've just said, and it comes in at 5.1%. I'm really excited to give this a, uh, to give this a, give this a taste. Uh, so it says on the back, um, when the needle hits the dead wax on your favourite vinyl record, you want to spin it again. That's the inspiration for our dead wax social bar and for this juicy IPA with high notes of mango and pineapple against a solid base line of oats and wheat. Fader is a flavour turned up to 11. <laughs> they certainly know how to uh, do the marketing there, doesn't it? It sounds great. So, yeah, it's got oats and wheat in there. So, I'm expecting this to be quite a, a cloudy, hazy looking beer. Um, yeah, I've chilled this. I do like my ales quite chilled. Um, so, yeah, let, let's crack it open. Give it a smell for out of the t out of the can. Wow, that's smelling pretty great. Let's give it a pour. Straight away, you can see that it is hazy. It's pouring lovely. Let's try and give that a head. Okay, let's take a look at that. Got a beautiful, beautiful orangey sort of colour to it, lemony sort of look. It is lovely. Isn't it? That is absolutely stunning. So straight away, Smells, smells very, very hoppy. It's lovely, that. Really is. Got a nice, creamy head to that. That is, honestly, that is so nice. Very New England IPA-ish, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? How good is that? Phenomenal. Uh, right, let's get in there and give it a taste. Wow. Wow, that's stunning. So straight away I'm hit with the bitterness. And it sits in the middle of your tongue, that bitterness. You're getting some great fruity flavours off the hops there. You certainly can taste the, the, the mango in there, the pineapple. It's got lemony. I tell you what, the, the bitterness and the fruitiness of it reminds me of grapefruit. I, per, personally, I, I, I would put on, on, on there that it had more of a grapefruit sort of flavour to it. Um, yeah, wow. Let's give it another taste. Pardon me. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. The mouthfeel, really smooth. Really smooth. Very, very fruity. It's, it's malty, slightly malty, biscuity for certain, I'd say. Mm. 
So I got this from Lidl. Um, I think it was around one pound thirty or one pound forty-five. I can't quite remember. We've got this like a uh, craft beer sort of thing on at the moment. So to produce a beer like that commercially for that price, that's brilliant really is you could really sit there i can imagine it right it's a hot sunny day you're having a barbecue you got your friends around you mates and you pull some of these out and you hand these out that's really going to get people talking that is a really nice really nice beer you could that's a session beer that honestly i know it's quite a high percent but i could easily have three or four of these and be very happy Pardon me. But look at that colour. Look at that. Certainly looks mangoey, doesn't it? Certainly looks mangoey. I mean, the head retention isn't the best, but, you know, it is out of a can after all. But look at that. This, this, this. Mm. Yeah, really getting that, that hoppiness through on that. Yeah, you do you do get the, the, the pineapple and the mango come through. Mm. But the that bitterness and the fruitiness, it says more grapefruit to me than it does mango or pineapple. But I'll tell you what, that's one hell of a beer. It really is. If you, if you can get down to little whenever you're watching this if it's recently to when i've put this up they'll still be selling them go and grab yourself a couple of these these are really really nice as you can see i've nearly drank the bloody thing but yeah this is really nice for a cheap beer you want something you know that's not the run-of-the-mill beer you know that's it that is gonna you know sit down take away barbecue whatever it is that's bloody lovely i'm gonna rate that seven out of ten go grab one guys